Today, over here in these premises, in these premises of living arts, it was proposed to have a program to avail the new generation, the youngsters, the boys, the girls, the children, that they should try to understand <coughs> that knowledge is a power. Knowledge is a nutrition for our minds, for our hearts, for our souls. So knowledge is having a very, very extraordinary part playing in our lives. So we should not avoid to gain or to attain knowledge. Knowledge is education and about education Beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has mentioned in Hadith al-Mubarakah so much that we are very much compiled with education and that education is the main source for the creation of our soul, our heart. <coughs> so knowledge is playing a very important part in our lives and the best knowledge which we can attain is by reading and researching and going into the depth of the books of to attain the knowledge. Man talab al-ula sahar al-layani wa man qasa al-bihar fa wajad al-la'ali The person who wants to go on the top Man talab al-ula sahar al-layani who wants to go on to the top that person becomes awake the whole whole night studying and educating himself his nafs his soul by educating does not even bother about the day or the night but always in seeking knowledge so when a person is in so much concerned with the knowledge, the person goes into the depth of the knowledge. It's just like the person It's just like that a person who goes into the depth of an ocean. Then in the depth of the ocean, like the wave, we go into the depth of the ocean, we find 
diamonds. We find ruby. We find many, many precious jewels. So knowledge, education is just like that. When we study, we go into the depth of the book. We go into the main source the education is coming from, go into the depth of it. The way that we find the precious stones and diamonds in the depth of an ocean, just like that. When you go into the depth of a book or in the depth of an education or in the depth of any knowledge, you find the most precious, most precious, uh, most and most precious part of the knowledge. So, education is the most. When Allah Taala created this world, when Allah Taala created this entire universe. He, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, made a reason for the creation of this entire universe. And the reason for the creation of this entire universe is beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was first created. His nur was created. And then so on. You all know how Adam and 124,000 people they came time after time. They tried to educate all the prophets and messengers. They all tried to spread education, the message of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But most of them could not achieve their goal. Finally, the Final book, the complete code of life, the Holy Quran, was revealed upon beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and this Quran, about which the Holy Quran by itself says, Ar Rahman Allah al Quran, that Almighty Allah subhanahu wa taala, who is the Rahman, He taught Quran, He. He came up with this book, Quran, which means a lot to us. The person sending this book to his beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, as his last and final message, final book, <coughs> the book Quran, complete code of life, full of all the knowledges and all the educations to be get to know that the best knowledgeable and educated person, the best educated and knowledge and educated is the one Almighty Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is having a lot of education of past, present, future. So beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam <coughs> when he came and announced his prophethood, he first first conveyed the message of Islam, conveyed by showed upon by his character that he is true and honest and trustworthy. And so on, this land spread. And according to Hadith al Mubaraka, said by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Atlub al ilmi min al mahdi il al lahd. That seek your knowledge, seek education from the cradle until the grave. And beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has also said that. Knowledge should be spread. And Khairukum Man Ta'allam al Quran of Allama that who gets educated by himself and educates the others 
is the best person, among the best persons. So we get to know that the importance of education and knowledge is being pointed out towards us from Almighty Allah and His beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we now understand the necessity and the importance of knowledge. Knowledge is power. Knowledge is an asset. Knowledge is a source. Knowledge is a comfort to our souls, our hearts, and our all lifetime styles, or what we do for the adopter. It is only knowledge which is now guiding us towards the right path. So we know, and according to Hadith al Mubarakah, from beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Man arad al-dunya fa alayhi bil-ilm wa man arad al-akhirah fa alayhi bil-ilm wa man arad al-khilahuma fa alayhi bil-ilm This is a sahih hadith from beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The person who is seeking the world or wanting the success and everything in the world should be educated, should be knowledge. And the person who is seeking and wanting to be a successful person in Akhirat, after demise, the person should educate himself and should fill up himself with knowledge. And Finally, beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَمَنْ أَرَادَ كِلَاهُمَا Kilahuma exactly means that both of them, dunya and akhirat. So, we should know that what we have to do in this world is not only for the world or for the time, but what we are doing in this world we should always focus ourselves that one day we have to depart from this world. One day we have to go back from where we have come from. And for that Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made all the reasons how we can attain something good, good fruit over there. So beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the Hadith al Mubarakah, finally, Woman arada kilahuma, dunya and akhirat, alayhi bil ilm. They should seek education, they should go for knowledge. So we get to know that knowledge is something which is very much emphasized to be attained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his beloved messenger, beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to be attained. And the best knowledge and the best education is the education of Qur'an. The knowledge of Qur'an, the power the source of Qur'an is opening all the doors to move on. So now, education, when we find that education is a must to be attained, so now we look where there were so many, so many good writers in the history of Islam who wrote <coughs> and so much and so much good for all of us to educate ourselves, philosophy, psychology, biology, chemistry, physics, and the education, the knowledge 
of the skies, the stars and the moons, they were all being presented to us by the Muslim writers, by the writers who had this education. So we get to know all these things are related to education and knowledge. So knowledge, we see, is playing a very important role in providing a good nutrition to our minds, our souls, in our benefit. So when we see, this is very much, very much good for ourselves, so we go ahead. Nowadays, when we are coming close and close to Qiyamat, we see that uh, things are now increasing and advancements are coming. The cell phone, the internet, the, the laptops, and so many other computers, so many things have come upon. In those sources, reasons of education, we find that we have a YouTube in it. In YouTube, you search for any scholar or any matter you find that very good in detail on YouTube. Or on Google, you just type. Uh, the best teacher nowadays for the youngsters, I think it's not, it's not father or mother or my principal or my teacher at my university. The best teacher at the moment is Google. Okay, sec, hang on. I'll just Google and I'll get to know. What is the answer? So, nowadays there is Google, there is, there is YouTube, and so many other sources. The satellite, TV stations, TV channels, which are pro broadcasting all the time for benefit of us by educating about new, new things. The reason why these are important that now people are understanding that education and knowledge is very, very important for our lifetimes. Beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has forced us. He emphasized on education a long time back. And now after 1450 years, 30 years, now they are getting to know the importance of education and knowledge. Muslim, when we see the professor of Maurice Bokai in Paris, in, in, yes, in somewhere in Paris, in France, he wrote in his book, uh, Quran, Bible, and Science. He said in his book, he, he wrote a book after doing researches on Quran and Bible and Science. After completing the researches, he wrote in his book, I don't exactly remember, the name of the book which he wrote after that research, uh, I remember the name of some time. So he mentioned that I, I fulfilled myself. I, I went and researched on Bible, and I researched Quran, and then. I researched science, 
physics, chemistry, biology, and all maths and hard maths, and management and auditing and everything. This was all researched by Professor Bokai. He went in the, in the education in the in the in the in the education of the skies and the stars and the playing role of the moon and the stars. And after all that, Professor Mubariz Bokai in his book Islam, Quran, Quran, Bible and Science, he writes finally this verse of the Holy Quran by visiting the place in, so in South Africa, in Cape Town, known as Cape Point, about which Quran told 1400 years ago, Marajal Bahrain Yertaqiyani, Bainahuma Barzakhun La Yabriyan. Quran and Majid told us 1450 years ago, Marajal Bahrain Yertaqiyani, Bainahuma Barzakhun La Yabriyan. Professor Morris Bukai mentions in the book that I, when I was doing the research on the Holy Quran, I went into the depth of the source of the Holy Quran that two rivers, two seas, two oceans, they are meeting with each other. One, the color of one side is black and the color of one side is red. They both are meeting each other, but the color is not changing. Subhanallah. The Quran says two oceans, two seas, they are meeting each other, the black and the red. And the color is not changing. It seems that there is a wall in the center of it. He said, when I read this verse of the Holy Quran in the 27th chapter, Surah Rahman, Maraj al Bahraini al Taqiyan, Bainaf ma barjahul la yabriyan, Fabi ayi ala irobikuma to get divan. Say that when I read this verse of the Holy Quran, I went in half some, you know that. Yes, mashallah, our Hafiz recites this verse in the whole surah very beautifully. And this surah is also good for the people who are having some sickness of pedia or some, we read on them and blow it on the water and give the water to them. If they drink that surah Rahman water, Allah Ta'ala gives shifa to them. And those people, they become cured. So this verse of the Holy Quran, two Oceans they are meeting, one is black, one is red, but the color is not changing. What is the reason? It seems that there is a wall in the center, which is not allowing this water to come this side and this water to come on this side. So he says, after 1450 years of the Quran and mentioning about this knowledge and education to the Ummah of the Prophet after 1400 years, after our researches, we got to know that Subhanallah, Quran is far ahead and science and Bible and the other powers of knowledge, they are far behind. All the knowledge, all the power of knowledge is in Quran. His beloved and the banner of a writer of the holy Quran. So, the Quran which he was with him, he was Moving according to 
Ecce in Aditha Mubarak in Sunnah that whatever he is doing in this world for, for the Ummah Whatever he is saying is from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes him to speak. And whatever he is doing is good for his own.